everybody, welcome back. My name is Dave and this is Alum House Sound. Today we're doing a video that's actually kind of a two-part video um, depending on the platform you're using. If you're using the full console that has the screen on it um, and some faders on it, then this video is gonna be the one for you. If you're using X32 Edit, maybe you've got the rack unit or the smaller, uh, the smaller unit, uh, or you just like the interface on X32 Edit, I'm gonna have a video that's gonna be up here as well as in the description. And that video will uh, go through everything that we're talking about here just on X32 Edit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dive in and talk about the three main ways that we can get our live stream signal from this console into your streaming device. Uh, step number one is going to be kind of the easiest, which is just taking XLRs from the console right into your streaming device, whether that's a video switcher or maybe a camera that's got stereo inputs. Step number two is gonna be for those of you guys running maybe like an A10 Mini, which is very common these days, and it's got an eighth inch like headphone jack input that is stereo, but you've gotta get the signal from the board into that. Now, I don't recommend using an XLR to eighth inch adapter. That's not the way to go. We wanna use the aux outs on the back of the console. It's much easier and a much better cable to, uh, to pick up. So that's gonna be step number two in this video. And then the third and final way is running across USB. So maybe you're, you're streaming through vMix or you're using OBS to stream and, uh, and you can connect a USB cable from the XUSB slot on the back of the board and move that right into your computer and you can have your signal go right across USB into the streaming devices. How do we do that? We're going to talk through that in the third step of this video. So with all that being said, if you want to, you can jump down in the description as well. There are some quick links that might help you out in getting to where you need quickly. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Let's dive into the console now. So in this example, we're going to act as though this, uh, this live stream is going to go out either to a video switcher that has XLR inputs or maybe to a camera that has stereo XLR inputs. Regardless, we're going to end up using the XLR outputs on the back of this console, the physical outputs, to run an XLR cable into our video inputs. What we're going to do is we're going to hit routing, and we're going to page over to the outs tab. And at the outs tab here, you've got the ability to set all 16 of your outputs. And we're going to scroll down to output 11 and confirm that that is set up for Mixbus 11. You can see that there in the right hand side. That is output 11, and that is set up as post fader at the tap point on the far right. Uh, next thing we can do is go to output 12 and confirm that that is set up to mix bus 12, and the tap point is post fader. One thing that you can do, if you need to delay your audio signal that's going into your live stream to better line up with your, uh, with your video signal, you can use this delay feature right here. Do make sure that you turn that on and set to the appropriate uh, settings for, uh, for, for both of your outputs, both output 11 and 12. Even though these are a linked stereo pair, uh, it will not duplicate that delay uh, in this output section. So that's one thing that you can do. Now at this point, all you have to do is connect an XLR cable from the back of the console over to your, um, your video switcher or your camera, depending on what you're using. All right, so in this example, we're going to use an output of auxiliary out. So if you are setting up your live stream to go from the X32 directly into an ATEM Mini Pro is very uh, common, or an ATEM Mini, something that has a stereo headphone jack as an input, what you can use is a cable like this, which is a quarter inch to eighth inch TRS cable. TRS stands for tip ring sleeve, which is the stereo version of these cables. And what you can see is you've got two mono connections that are quarter inch, and those combine together to an eighth inch stereo connection, which plugs right into the back of the console in the auxiliary out area, and then connects to the ATEM Mini. But let's look at the routing here on the screen. What we're gonna do is go to routing. We're gonna page all the way over to the aux section. This is auxiliary outs. And what we're gonna do is just Go down, I prefer to use auxiliary out five and six, but it doesn't really matter particularly whatever is available for you. 
So auxiliary out, now we can come down and select mix bus and then page down to mix bus 11. And we can see the tap points here on the far right. And I'm gonna set that as post fader. Then I can push, which takes me down to auxiliary six. I can mix bus, mix bus 12, post fader. So now my signal is duplicated, not just on the XLR outputs of this console on the back, but also through these quarter inch auxiliary outs that you can run into your video switcher. All right, so the last scenario here, uh, we've talked about XLRs, we've talked about auxiliary outs. The last one is gonna be running this out USB. So on the back of the console, there's the X USB card, which has a USB slot. You'll need a cable that looks like this, which is a USB A to B cable. And it's kind of more commonly referred to as a, an old school printer cable. But you will plug one side into the X USB, you'll plug the other side into your computer and your video software, uh, whether it's vMix or, uh, or OBS, will be looking for USB 1 and 2 for your stream mix. So what we need to do is a couple things. We're going to go to the routing screen here. We're going to page over to outs. And we're going to confirm that output 11 is linked with Mixbus 11. And that output 12 is linked with Mixbus 12. And I tend to uh, set those both as post fader. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go all the way over to the right to the user outs. Uh, we're going to push this first encoder to get to output. And now here on output one, we'll scroll down to where it says output. And then the next knob, we're going to go down to output 11, push it to select. Then we can push here, which takes us to the next one. Already you can see it has jumped to output 12, we push that. So now we're sending output 11 and 12 uh, into the custom user outs, and then we're gonna page back over to the left, all the way to card, and what we'll do is we will come into this first knob and we're gonna go down to user, user out one through eight, and when we push that, we're gonna see the screen change on the right. And so now it says mix bus 11, mix bus 12, post fader. So that's gonna take your stereo mix buses that's set for your live stream, and it's gonna route those out the X USB connection on the back of the console, and you'll be able to select those in your uh, computer and in your software. Do make sure if you're on a Windows machine that you've downloaded the most recent version of um, of the X USB driver, and that will make sure that the connections work. Also check the description below for a different video. If you're having connection issues and you're not getting any audio, there are some security settings, both Mac and Windows, you might want to address. All right, well, that's a quick video. I hope it's been helpful to you. I hope you learned something new or found some other options that you can use within routing for your specific venue or other venues that you might visit that you're helping out. So if you can, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button below. We're continuing to put out new content. I've got some exciting new videos coming up about a whole new console. But uh, for right now, if you've got questions about the X32 or X32 edit, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'm always in the comments answering questions and helping people out. So that's it for now. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.